Amen. Headquarters, be unlocked today. The face of God, all his reign. That supreme, that supremacy, that authority from his shoulder, the electricity down his arm, his hand, crystals in his fingers. I got to be electronically charged like that. I got to put my GPS system in that. I got to put my vocabulary in that. I got to put my mind in that. I got to put my life in that, Lord. And so that I begin to see as I walk in the park of the heavens, that I begin to ponder on the pathway of the divine, that I begin to sit in the sequence of all the seraphims that surround about the holiness of him. And so that expression is given to me from the cherubim in that 24th dimension of the elders that they sit in round about the circulation of all that he is in the clock and the time and the sequence and the environment of the heavenlies of Dome. Then I want to go there in Michael's pool, and then I want to go in there in Raphael's visitation. Then I want to go there in Metatron's cube. Then, as I speak with the code of the sequence that is really revealed unto us through the wisdom that is downloaded, and non-judgment, just pure reception. Then it becomes so true to me. Then it becomes so alive to me that I'm awakened by it. And it's time for the initiation to ascend. Transpire. Amen. There's a secret corridor to privacy. Inward meditation. Long enough. When you bring your memory, when you bring your thoughts, when you bring your time into that chamber, into the awareness of presence, that is the scope that you look at the details of your life by light and they unfold, not by thought, not by thinking, by light is where all the hidden manna unfolds, all the hidden gemstones and diamonds that he was piercing through with the pickaxe yet didn't unlock the gold you do it one time with the light which is the connection of the past history the time intervals all the people that have ever worked in that mine effortlessness effortlessly and you unlock all the gold the wisdom the enrichment the power the manna the proverb the unlocking of the proverb the hidden wisdom which is what God reveals. And so there are many categories. I, I had to start my day off launching into the presence and perspective of heaven. The only way I could do that is the first step into knowledge and wisdom. Amen. It's another day of life. Another day of God. Another day of Jesus. Another day of his blood. Spreading out. The full remainder. Of what I'm, what I'm being obedient to. To the knowing. That has been given to me. That's going to be the place. Where I find every extension of God. That's going to be the place where my activation occurs. My stability is. My rest occurs. My promises are released. The outpouring is. It's a place of many dimensions. And where you've been assigned to your very now. Ever feel like you're being watched in the spirit? That's because you got watchers who attune and they wait for that vibration to kick off. So as you utter the mysteries of the Lord, as you speak the things of the kingdom, okay, awareness kicks off in the spirit. And there were, it's, it's, it's a word game. They're all waiting for words. Okay. I think the entirety of your life, why I wasn't prospering, because God has put a word inside of me, but I wasn't releasing that word. 
Uh, let me just go do this. Uh, let me go do that. Uh, let me, I wasn't releasing the word that God had put had put on my heart. I wasn't releasing the word that God had gave me in the vision. I wasn't releasing the word of my testimony. How did they overcome Satan? By the word of their testimony and the blood of the lamb. So the word of the testimony is always going to be connected with the blood of Jesus. Okay. Now the blood of Jesus going to always be connected with your testimony. Okay. So when I play in your testimony, it's not just, oh, well, I already told people about what Jesus did 20 years ago. Nah, what is Jesus doing now in your life? Well, I don't know because I, I don't have any money. I'm at the same job. No, every single minute Jesus is doing something in your life. The testimony is when you speak what he's doing in your life. The glory is when you give him the full credit of what he's doing in your life. And how you become rich, you never lose that. Now there are watchers, which are waiters, awaiting the arrival to present to God the word that they've been waiting on you to release. Heaven's been waiting on you to speak. God has been waiting on you to speak. You know you should have made that YouTube video three months ago. You know you were never supposed to stop making videos about Jesus just because you don't like the way you look, just because like you don't know if your videos sound cool enough, just because you know you were never supposed to stop talking about God. You know you were never, stop, never, were never supposed to stop pushing in the spiritual things. You know what? God began to give me opportunity. He began to give me all that stuff. But you know what? I, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. You know what? I lost sight of that which was important. He began to give me opportunity. He began to give me money. He began to give me blessing. But I lost, I lost sight of my first love. I lost, okay. But we ain't going to say that again. Mm-hmm. You never felt to answer my prayer. Hallelujah. You know what I notice? Oh Jesus, I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of weight on me right now. There's a lot of darkness. And they've been waiting on me to speak. So you know what I'm doing right now? In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm speaking. Those that maintain their speech maintain the regulation of God. God is always moving in the orator's life. He's always moving in the stream of those that keep speaking his word. I don't care if you prophesy. I don't care if you decree and declare anything. I don't care if you're just doing Bible studies when you just keep his word just in action. And I would like to make a commitment today, but I don't make I don't make commitments to God anymore. I just tell the Lord because the Bible says to be careful how you vow to the Lord. See, it tells you that because when you go to God, when you go to his stone and you start talking crazy stuff because he's so pure, he's so kind. He's going he's going he's going to agree with you. If you say, Lord, I'm not going to do this anymore. I promise you he's going to agree with you because he's good. He's going to have your back. Now, the problem is you just entered into an initiation by the throne of Yahweh. You just went into his vortex, his power and made a declaration and he agreed with you. Now you went back, but you couldn't keep up the commitment and it wasn't even him doing nothing. He's the one that has your back. But you took some of his power, weren't able to handle it, weren't able to be responsible to the accumulation of it, weren't able to commit to what was required of it. Now you struggle and stress and now you go back to his throne crying and he didn't even do nothing. He just let you receive what you wanted to receive. Hallelujah. I feel the might and thunder of God rising in my, in my brain right now. Holy Spirit fire. Now we specialize in breakthrough and deliverance. So if you're in these videos, if you're tapping in, I want you to know you're going to get delivered. The devil going to come out of you. Demons going to come out of you. Satan going to bow off your life. We've been given that power, ready to exercise at any given moment. Okay. Now, hallelujah. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I love God. I'm so glad that Jesus saved. Let me tell you something. If Jesus did not save me and come into my life and interview, intervene me, I would still be on drugs. I wouldn't be thinking, I would still, I would I could have been dead. But I give Jesus glory today. He set me free. He made the devil leave me. He gave me wisdom. He entered into my life and transformed my life. I love Jesus. I worship Jesus. I praise Jesus. I thank Jesus. I give Jesus glory today. 
there's a mighty anointing in me that's been waiting to arise. I've been praying to God for years, Lord, but 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 He's been waiting on me just to speak. Okay. Now, I like how the Bible says, I like how it says you got to stir up the gifts, okay? Whether you got to talk for an hour, whether you got to worship God for an hour, whether you got to, whether you got to, you got to stir these things up. These things are way, you know how you stir your Kool-Aid and your sugar together? Well, you got to stir the spirit, you got to stir the spiritual things up, okay? And sometimes it's easy to do when you get around other people that are activated in the spirit. You get around other men of God that are always in tune with God. You got to get around. That stirs you up. That supercharges you. And the biggest thing that Satan fights with all his heart is unity. Because what you're able to do when you got two people in God, man, there's sometimes, let me tell you something. What I carry as an individual, I get around people. We start talking about Jesus, right? The energy becomes so strong. The angelic, the angelic aroma becomes so mighty. The, the potency of the Holy Spirit becomes too strong that I have to leave them. I can't stay. So there's so many people we start talking about, and I can't even hang around them anymore. Okay. What that lets me know is, and it is an honor and privilege, individually, collectively, to have the Holy Spirit, and I say this with respect and uttermost respect to Jesus, to have the Holy Spirit of God on steroids inside of my body. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm.